Hi everyone, it's Catherine, and I wanted to talk to you about Veterans Day, which is tomorrow, November 11th. And I found this book, which is fabulous, Veterans, Heroes in Our Neighborhood. It was written by Valerie Funstein. It was illustrated by Aaron Anderson, and it is copyrighted by Fun Omenal Stories, LLC, in Deer Park, New York. So this woman is a Long Islander. She wrote this book um, to honor the veterans, not only the veterans in her neighborhood, but all veterans. So I'm going to read this to you. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Today we learned about our heroes, a really special kind, the ones who serve America and leave their homes behind. We read about the veterans who give all they can give to keep our country safe and free so we can love and live. Our teacher asked us each to name a veteran we knew. She said, now you may be surprised. It won't be hard to do. So after school, I asked my dad. He had amazing news. These heroes live right in our town. So many. Who could choose? There are family, neighbors, friends who never boast or brag. We all should be reminded of their love for home and flag. The man in town who cuts our hair is known as Frank the Barber. But not too many know he was a sailor at Pearl Harbor. That wasn't easy. The butcher at the grocery store who cuts the meat for stew was once a paratrooper. Wow. Matt served in World War II. And Walter is a Navy man who came to fix our heat. He once fixed boilers on the ships that sailed with the U.S. fleet. This is a carrier, and my brother Frank was on a carrier during the Vietnam War. Our neighbor Jacqueline is a nurse who wears a uniform. She cared for wounded soldiers when she served in Desert Storm. My niece Nikki's a nurse and uh, in the Army, Captain. Ernie is a firefighter we knew that he was brave, and yet we knew, never knew about the Air Force time he gave. He's a person who serves all the time. And Edna, our librarian, ugh, had a son named John. He died while training for Iraq. Now, she's a gold star mom. Our mailman is a volunteer who trains each year to serve. When duty calls, Bob goes abroad. He's in the Army Reserve. And Manny is a proud Marine who did a corporal's part. He was wounded overseas and wears a purple heart. We celebrate our Veterans Day, the 11th of November. We show our patriotic pride and promise to remember. Our heroes' headstones wear the flag from coast to coast in May. It's how we honor those we've lost and mark Memorial Day. We painted posters of our heroes and marched in a parade to thank these men and women for the sacrifices made. But we don't need a calendar to celebrate the brave. We pledge allegiance to the flag and let those colors wave. It doesn't matter where they served, what, services, what service branch or rank. What matters is remembering them and offering our thanks. And here are the veterans that we spoke about in the book. Here's all of them in their military photos. Pretty cool. 
So this is my book for you on Veterans Day. And when you see someone uh, that you know is a veteran or someone in uniform, you can always thank them for their service. I know I sleep better at night knowing that they're looking out for me. So have a very wonderful Veterans Day.